This video will demonstrate a few ways to customize the layout of your Gmail user interface. Now I've already logged into my Gmail account here and one way is the number of emails that are shown by default. Now there's not a whole lot of emails in here right now but if you are a regular user of Gmail then you know that it won't take long before this quickly fills up. By default there is I believe 25 that are shown before you have to start scrolling to the next 25 and so on. To change that, you come on in here to your settings, which is right here next to the gear icon. Hit that drop down arrow, come on down to settings, and right here, I've got mine set to 50. That might be the default as well, I'm not sure, but you can change that by hitting this drop down arrow, and you can have 10 shown all the way up to 100 shown before you have to start scrolling by hitting that right or left button. Now while I'm here, another customization you can make is your Hangouts and Chats can be moved over to the right side with the use of a lab. And you would do that by coming up here to Labs. Again, once you've gone into your settings area by hitting that drop down arrow next to the gear icon in the top right corner. Come on over here to Labs and you can search for the lab if you don't know exactly the name of it and frankly I don't but I think it's chats on right or something like that but I'm just going to type in right right side chat here we are click on enable and then as soon as you click on save changes it will restart your gmail account with the changes taking place and here we are another customization you can make is by changing the overall look of your user interface and how dense that information is being shown to you and you do that by coming up here to the settings and you choose between compact cozy or comfortable and again this is just the display density let me just toggle through these to show you what it looks like you see comfortable takes up more space but it's easier to see and compact takes up less space so you can get more information on the page so that's just more of a personal preference than anything else. Another customization is the overall look, the theme if you will. And you can adjust the theme again by coming up here to the settings, clicking on themes, and by default it's the light color theme. And you can change the color of the theme by these guys right here or you can use one of these HD themes and any of these that have the little asterisk in the top right corner are pretty cool because they will also change the look depending upon your physical location and the time of day. For example, if we were to go with this beach scene, right now, as I'm recording this, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and it's clear skies. Now, if it were nighttime, then this would be a little bit different. And if it were stormy outside, then this would be a little bit different. Pretty cool. Another option is changing to the light or dark custom themes. And here you can even upload your own photos. So if you've got a photo of your dog or your cat or your children and you want to have that as the background image, you've got that ability here. And moving on down the line here, you have what's called classic themes where they're more of a cartoony type look. And if that's your cup of tea, then you have that option right here. Something else to consider is that if you, like me, have many Gmail accounts, then you may decide to color code them, maybe depending upon the niche that that particular Gmail account represents or whatever reason you might have to change the theme of your Gmail account. Could be just for cosmetic reasons or for organizational purposes. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on customizing the layout of your Gmail user interface.